We give you wine to drink. The meaning of that statement simply means that the death is serving between the living and the God. So they are the intermediaries between man and his God. And therefore, by calling libation and mention the death's name, they are asking them to intercede. On their behalf. So the African knew God. And the Bible also says that the church that we are in started by David. David who, who was the king of Israel and his son Solomon completed it and that is what we are witnessing today that we see men of God and our chiefs come together to serve the Lord indeed it's a great day and I commend Church of Pentecost for bringing the congregation and the chiefs together I cannot say this without telling my fellow worshippers here but today the Lord has manifested because we have the chiefs who are the leaders and our pastors and congregation the servants of God coming together we thank God for that and we bless Church of Pentecost and we have to continue. but today I want to play with you you know what is ahead of me I am contesting to be a flag bearer for MPP but what the district pastor said simply means a war he has declared me the president already. And by his mark, it will surely happen. Because whatever message God wants to give, he, he passes through mankind. And his Sons. And the district pastor has done exactly that. Um, what I want to claim with you is that Ghana is at the crossroads that we need a man with vision. A man who is going to serve the country and not to lord himself over his people. The servant of God who is going to sacrifice his life to make a difference in the country is honorable Kenneja As it says in Matthew 20, 
26. He says, anybody who wants to be a leader must first be a servant and that is what I stand for I want to serve my country when you look at me then you should wake up to hope if he said why because I was one time a taxi driver in the Bronx. And today I'm contesting. It is clear indication that no matter where you born, if you are determined in life to make a difference in society with God guidance oh, so members of Pentecost what is happening in Ghana today your population is not less than 3 million. If you look at the country around Ghana, the Ghana, West African countries, the only country left that has peace is Ghana. So I'm asking members of Pentecost not to forget the peace of our country and therefore we should vote for a man who will continue to bring peace to Ghana it is important you can make the whole world's money but if you don't have peace, you have nothing. So I'm begging you, Church of Pentecost, you should lead and make sure that God will maintain the peace. That is why I rise to come here. To plead with you to come together and support Kennedy Japan to lead the country. Besides the peace we want, we need a man with foresight, a man who, who has a dream. Change the fortunes of the country. And that is your servant before you. So I'm asking again that when you go on your knees in the morning, pray for the leader. God should choose a leader who will change Ghana. The way things are going. You wake up in the morning, you see young Ghanaian men and women excited to have visas to leave the country. Because there are no jobs. I bleed in my heart. I ask myself, where is the future of my country? We are losing the human resources. Let's come together. And I hope. And I hope that we unity, collaboration, we can move and develop Ghana. I want each and everyone here to challenge himself.
Me pensé, obi bien o dai bu di sa ken si ese ne ne. That what any white man has done on earth. Senya obroni biara etimi anye wa sa si se no. Black man can do. Obi fi ni su betimi anye. And therefore we have to challenge that. And you see as I say this I can't see we should, not, we should not depend solely on America for existence. And so ya tuni ya say the ham kwan ya that na do. We should not rely on British Europeans. Yes I am so English if one one I watch our who see us. God has given us bread. Ya me wa ma ya tuni da yeti. Mo ma ya fa ya tuni da yeti ya tuni. Na ya tuni ya won say and move and develop Ghana. I know most of you here are tired of being in America. I want to go home and rest. And because you don't have confidence in the system. That's why you are still here. I give you hope. Now, I am giving the opportunity. Say, say, oh, mommy, I quit. I say, me baby, oh, my name anymore. I build the country. Now, me now, me super see, oh, man, I develop the country. Ah, you better to, oh, man, I. All of you come home. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. Let's play. Talent, you have acquired in America. I'm not. I'm not. Me, I be a dumb one. Oh, my, you know. That is the only way we can develop our country. And that is what I stand for. I want each and every member here to make a phone call to one delegate that he knows that is going to vote in November That the man who has a vision, a man who has a foresight, a man who thinks of his country, is any of your young for Kennedy, I compare to Japan. And I'm going to be your servant. Now may you be so full and worship you. Now my son, I don't want you. Now me, my mother, worship me. Ever so me say your name. If you say why, because okay, you fool for baby. Every good leader, so I'm going to name my one. It is thoughtful about the country. And then serve the country very well. And they don't bring the money to abroad to save it, but the few that we have develop the country. I believe strongly that Ghana will be like any other developed country. All the lands that we have, all the resources that the Lord has given to us. Why are we still here? Because of bad it is all because of many bad leaders. I want to make a difference. In society. So have hope. And that is the only way we can make a difference. In society. So have hope. So have confidence. Have the one man. Who is ready to sacrifice his life? Why a travel? Say, I didn't want to travel to Ghana. To make Ghana a better place. Now, I'm a Ghana. I get the idea. Any of us to go back. I'm a young man. I get to meet some for young man. Borough president. Yeah, I'm a borough president. Back home, back home. Me, 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 me. Profit me now, back home. So that you also pay the taxes for us. I'm not going to have a fear at all, young man. So this afternoon, I want to say once again, say a big thank you for Church of Pentecost. Giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Again, don't forget. We need peace. The chiefs, our congregation, you can bring peace. Don't make a mistake. Some people, if you vote for them, Ghana, the next four five years, you will never see peace. I don't want to share too much here. 
But the Bible says, or our elderly saints, the wise man is spoken in two in parables. If you do not step your foot down, a time will come. Because of bad lessons, we won't wait. Royals will become slaves in Ghana. I will speak the truth to you. Why? Because the Bible says, whoever has ears, let them hear. You need a courageous person who will speak the truth to you. You will not be involved by fear. Because Ghana is a peace of Ghana. I will not bring peace to Ghana. I plead with you. I will plead with you. You are the one in Ghana. We are here to serve and go. All the leaders, the kings and queens. Your authority remains forever. Your authority remains forever. And for politicians, their authority is temporal. Therefore, I plead with you if you want Ghana to remain peacefully, Latin. A word to the wise is enough. Oh, hallelujah, somebody. You can lift up your hands. You can wave to the glory of God. Wave to the glory of God. We will take exhortation from our dear Father. Praise the Lord. Beloved, we would like to pray for our leaders. And also pray for our nation. But before then, we want to just uh, listen to a short exhortation.